it's the first Tuesday in February, so you know what that means. That means that it's Transfer Tuesday. Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to, Erin Twibbles Around Aimlessly. I'm Erin, and my husband and I are on a debt-free journey using a Budget Mom and Dave Ramsey-inspired zero-based budget approach. Today is Transfer Tuesday, a weekly practice that has been popularized by Mary over at Penny's Not Perfection. If you're not familiar with Penny's Not Perfection, I have linked her channel in the description box below. But essentially, each week on Transfer Tuesday, or any day out of the week, as long as you are consistent, you make some form of money movement, large or small, to pay off debt, savings, investment, or something other, whatever the focus is on for you. And for me, it's whatever my focus is on that week and that month. We have really ambitious goals, and this is yet another tool in the kit that we are using to reach those goals and to stay accountable. So let's get started. So this is our fifth Transfer Tuesday, and it really is our final Transfer Tuesday for the month of January, because the way our budget runs in our household is we go from Wednesday through Tuesday. So it's the very last day of the budgeting week before we start the new one. And this is, a, you know, again, it's a time where we put things towards whatever the focus is. And for us, our focus is really on two areas, and that is on our credit card and then also on just a general savings account that we have, which we now have a purpose for. And I'm just going to quick apologize about all of the shadows and everything, but it is storming something fierce here. As mentioned, I'm in Australia and summer is our wet season. So when it decides to rain, it rains. It is also cyclone season, our, um, our equivalent of hurricanes. And even though we're a bit south, we get a lot of uh, the, the remnants of those storms. So it's a bit dark. I need to have different lights on and this is about what I could come up with for the day. But as mentioned, we are focusing our attention on our credit card and then on um, spare funds. And for spare funds, I'm doing what is called a roundup challenge. And in that roundup challenge, what I do is any purchases that I make on debit card for any of my categories that are in my digital wallet, I do the same as I do with my cash envelopes. And so I keep the change and then I also round up usually to the nearest tenth because I also do a $5 challenge. So if anything is priced from say $20 and one cent, all the way up to $29.99, all of those would get rounded up to 30, with the exception being our fuel fund. I just round up to the nearest fifth. And so this week, we ended up with a total of $28.93 that is going to the spare fund account. Second is we're doing the extra to our credit card and what was left over in the budget this month or this week was $769. This was after all of our bills, expenses were paid, sinking fund money was taken out and cash envelope and digital envelope withdrawn. I did end up having to do it in two payments just because uh, we did transfer from uh, the where the credit card was with Virgin and we switched that over to our former bank because we were able to go from a 24% interest rate down to a 5.99%. However, there was still one last round of interest 
And then also that card does have an annual fee and that happened to hit at the same time. So $315.05, that takes care of anything excess left on that card um, sitting at Virgin. And then also um, to its new home, $453.95. So that was a total of $769 that was transferred over. So we're going to be able to color in some pretty good process progress on our credit card tracker as well. So I included in this because on the first of the month, we always have to make our contractual obligated payment. That was 273 and then an additional 769. And that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a smidge boxes that we can go ahead and that we can color in. So I'm just going to do that and fast track you forward it and I will be right back to wrap up. Okay, so all of these boxes that are in pink, this is everything that was paid this month in January. So just visually looking at this, we can see that we have made quite a bit of progress towards our goal. So our final goal is 12,792. And the reason that I have this with an asterisk is because I have already amortized our entire payoff plan which means that interest is built in total to this entire tracker. That means that each week I can actually put down the actual amount that is paid. I don't have to wait until I have a, um, a statement that comes in that tells me an interest rate. So it just, it makes it easier for, um, for me. So when we get to the finish, we, we might not even hit 12,792. It might come in slightly below, but that'll that will be the final one that we have. But in this in this month, we exceeded twenty five percent, and we're pretty pretty close to being halfway there. So I think that we will actually hit this mark, hopefully, in February. And I do track the the last part is how we are going with. Um, how much we have paid, what percentage, and how that is looking as well. So we are all the way down here at the bottom. So our last payment was last Tuesday on the 26th. On the 1st, so this was on Monday, contractual amount for $273, bringing our total paid thus far to 4,632, which is 38% of the loan or the credit card and leaving us $7,642 left to pay off. With this extra payment, then on the second, we made an additional $769 payment bringing our total paid in January to $5,401. 44% of the credit card has now been paid off in one month. And granted, January, it was an extra paycheck month. It also was not the norm in that we had a couple of medical reimbursements that we knew were going to be able to go there. So this is not in any way indicative of how each month is going to look. Uh, goodness gracious, I, I wish that it were, but we actually probably even, even won't, won't even hit half of that amount. In February going forward, um, we'll probably be, probably be sticking right to that $2,100 but we have $6,873 left to pay on this credit card. So I'm excited about a couple things. One, that we are under $7,000, so we dropped pretty quickly from being five digits down to four. And then also the 
as well. So we're just under 50%. I think by the end of next month, by the end of February, we'll be over that 50% amount that we have paid off. And to me, that is just, that is really, that's just really super exciting. And this is, this is part of why this consistency in making payments is really so motivational. And I know that, yes, I'm doing quite a few large payments, but not always. When, one week I only had an additional $140. There might be a week where I only have 10, maybe $15. And these are what are, these smaller payments are what are known as snowflake payments. But those snowflake, snowflake payments add up. They build up as well. And the other thing is that what we're really trying to establish is consistency in behavior. So creating a new habit. You have to do this for multiple weeks in order to create the habit as well. So if it's not something that you're doing or if it's something that you think, oh, I'm not making enough or I don't have enough to go and, and make those payments, try it. I challenge you, try it for all of February. No matter how large or small, it could be to a debt, it could be to a savings, it could be to an investment, any number of things. Because if I had waited until the end of January to collect up $5,401, I know me, there is no way I would have paid that all in one lump sum at the end of the month. I would have known in the back of my mind that I had that extra money there and I would have spent it in other places. So that is the beauty of having a set day for having money movements. So give it a shot if you haven't or if you're skeptical or if you don't think that it will be useful, try it for a week, for a month. You have nothing to lose. Reevaluate at the end of the month and then make a decision from there. If you decide to stick with it, great. If it doesn't work for you, you're, you're really not out anything other than maybe five minutes from the time that it makes to, to make the transfers. But if you're checking your budget every week, if you're closing out every week, then it's really easy to see those numbers and to add those in. So I strongly encourage you to give it a go. And go ahead and comment down below if this is something that you already do and how you're finding it and what were your money movements this week. If it's something that you don't do, why not? Have you tried it and you just didn't like it? Or is there something holding you back? We can explore that as part of a discussion. So now these Transfer Tuesdays, as the title says, um, I post these every week on Tuesday. So if these are the types of videos that you like to watch, Tune in every Tuesday. An easy way to do that is to subscribe and get notifications, and that way you know exactly when that video has come up. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a like as well. Otherwise, remember to always choose kindness, show gratitude, and always keep a positive mindset, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!